Hello, class. Today we will be learning about context clues. Sorry, I'm late. When you read, you may encounter words that have more than one meaning. You may also find words you have never seen before. Context clues can help you figure out the meanings of unfamiliar words. A word's context includes the words and sentences around it. These words. May I use the restroom? No. You will miss my exciting lesson. Quit interrupting me. As I was saying, these words and sentences can be clues to the meaning of a word you're unsure of. There are four types of context clues. The first type is rewording. Rewording is when the author says the word in another way, that is typically easier to understand. Let's look at an example. Resentment, a feeling of bitterness and anger, is often felt by people who are passed over for promotions. What does the word resentment mean in this sentence? A feeling of anger and bitterness. I'm feeling a bit of resentment myself. Nice job, Julie. The author defines the word resentment by rewording with the words bitterness and anger. The second type of context clue an author might use is called a synonym. A synonym is a word that has the same meaning as another word. Synonyms are used as context clues when an author uses a similar word for a word which you might not already know the definition. Let's look at an example. The young girl was very aloof. She always seems unsociable, unapproachable, and uninterested. What do you think the word aloof means, Eric? Unapproachable. That is correct, Eric. The author defines aloof by giving us the synonyms unsociable, unapproachable, and uninterested. Woo. The third type of context clue is called an antonym. An antonym is a word that has the opposite meaning of another word. Antonyms are used as context clues when an author uses a word, or a phrase, that means the opposite of the word you might not understand. Let's look at an example. We thought the athletes would be famished after their game, but they were not hungry at all. Using the context clues, what do you think the word famished means? Hungry. Excellent, Eric. The author uses the opposite meaning of famished not hungry to help the reader figure out the meaning. The final type of context clue is logic. Sometimes there is no direct way to determine the meaning of an unfamiliar word. When this happens, you have to look at the general meaning or logic of the sentence and passage. You must draw conclusions based on the information given. To do this, you should ask yourself questions about the passage. Answering these questions will often lead you to a reasonably accurate guess about the meaning of the word. Let's look at an example. It took two days for the volunteers to extricate the little girl from the bottom of the well. What does the word extricate mean in the sentence? To figure out the meaning, you need to ask yourself what volunteers might do if a small child was stuck in a well. Most volunteers would try to rescue or get the girl out. If you put this idea into the sentence, it's easy to see that extricate means to free or release. That makes sense. Let's recap. There are four types of context clues. Rewording, synonym, antonym, and logic. These clues can help us figure out the meaning of unknown words. That's it for today, folks.